Hi, today I'm going to show you the easiest way to add mixed numbers within like denominators. Before getting into it, we need to remember that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. For example, one half is a proper fraction, given that the numerator one is less than the denominator two. Nice! In the first example, we need to find the sum of four and one half and five and one third. As you can see, these two mixed numbers have different denominators. To find the sum, we'll start by adding the whole numbers. The whole numbers are 4 and 5 in this problem. So we put over here 4 plus 5, and that gives us 9. Perfect. Next, we put 9 over here in the answer. We have the sum of the whole numbers. It's time to add the fractions. The fractions are 1 half and 1 third. Come to this side. 1 half plus 1 third. These fractions have different denominators, and there are several methods to add fractions with unlike denominators. However, I love to use the cross multiplication method. In this method, we we'll start by multiplying the denominators, and 2 times 3 give us 6. Next, we are going to cross multiply. On this side, we have 1 times 3, that gives us 3. Then comes the plus sign, and on the other side, we have 2 times 1. And 2 times 1 is 2. Perfect! 3 plus 2 give us 5, and then the denominator stays the same. 6 come over here. Finally, we add 5 sixths to 9 holes. So we put 5 sixths over here next to 9 holes. In that way, 4 and 1 half plus 5 and 1 third give us 9 and 5 sixths. Let's continue with another example. In the second example, we're going to add 5 and 3 fourths plus 2 and 1 sixth. Let's start by adding the whole numbers. The whole numbers are 5 and 2. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Then we put 7 in the answer. Let's continue by adding the fractions. The fractions are 3 fourths and 1 sixth. 3 fourths plus 1 sixth. Once again, we're going to use the butterfly method. In this method, we start by multiplying the denominators, and 4 times 6 gives us 24. Then we're going to cross multiply. 3 times 6 is 18, 18. Then we put the plus sign here. On the other side, we have 4 times 1, and 4 times 1 is 4. Then 18 plus 4 gives us 22, and next, the denominator stays the same. 24 come over here. Don't forget that the resulting fraction must be in simplest form, so we are going to simplify 22 24 dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number. By 2, ready? 22 divided by 2 gives us 11. Here, 24 divided by 2 is 12. Finally, we add 11 twelfths to 7 holes, so we put 11 twelfths here in the answer. Done! 5 and 3 fourths plus 2 and 1 sixth give us 7 and 11 twelfths. Let's move on to the last example. In the last example, we will find the sum of 8 and 2 thirds and 6 and 3 fourths. First, we add the whole numbers. The whole numbers are 8 and 6. So 8 plus 6 give us 14. 14. I don't have much space on this side, so I should better put 14 over here. Then we add the fractions. The fractions are 2 thirds and 3 fourths. 2 thirds plus plus 3 fourths. We use the butterfly method. We start by multiplying the denominators. And 3 times 4 is 12. Then on this side we have 2 times 4, and 2 times 4 give us 8. Next we put the plus sign, and over here we have 3 times 3, that give us 9. 8 plus 9 is 17, the denominator stays the same, 12 come over here. At this point we should remember the improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 17 twelfths is an improper fraction, given that the numerator 17 is greater than the denominator 12. A mixed number contains a proper fraction. Since we don't want an improper fraction in the final answer, we need to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. Ready? How many times does 12 go into 17? How many times does 12 go into 17? Well, 12 goes into 17 one time. Next, we multiply. 1 times 12. 12. To get 17, we need to add 5. One more time. 1 times 12, 12. To get 17, we need to add 5. 
And then the denominator stays the same. 12 came to our fraction. Finally, we add 1 and 5 twelfths to 14. So we need to put plus 1, 1 and 5 twelfths. Here we have the sum of a whole number and a mixed number. Don't worry, we just need to follow the same steps we have seen in the previous examples. We start by adding the whole numbers. 14 plus 1 gives us 15 and then we add the fractions. However, we only have one fraction over here and that fraction is 5 twelfths. We're done with this problem. In that way, 8 and 2 thirds plus 6 and 3 fourths give us 15 and 5 twelfths. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out this playlist. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!